In 1929, the travel air mystery ship's appearance at the national air races came as a surprise to the aviation community. Its design and production were carried out under strict secrecy. In late August in Cleveland, Ohio, when the aircraft was first seen by spectators and pilot Doug Davis was questioned, it was quickly covered with a tarpaulin. It was immediately rolled into a hangar. This was done to conceal from prying eyes the innovative solutions implemented by the designers in this racing aircraft. The press, unaware of the aircraft's true designation, the Travel Air Model R, dubbed it the Mystery Ship. This name stuck more firmly in history than its official designation. The aircraft was developed and built by the Travel Air Company, located in Wichita, Kansas. At that time, the company had already established itself as a manufacturer of high-performance aircraft known for their quality construction. The Travel Air 2000 and Travel Air 4000 models were considered elite in sport and business aviation, while the Travel Air 6000 was regarded as a quality aircraft featuring an enclosed cabin. The company was founded by a group of aviation pioneers, Walter Beach, Clyde Cessna, and Lloyd Stearman. After Cessna and Stearman left the company to establish their own ventures, leadership passed to Walter Beach. In 1928, he hired two young engineers, Herb Rodden and Walter Burnham, to develop a high-performance monoplane. The work was carried out in secret, and only a limited circle of individuals, even within the company, knew of its existence. The engineers utilized the research findings of the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics, NACA, in the field of achieving high aircraft performance. A distinctive feature of the new aircraft was the long NACA cowling. It was designed to reduce the drag of radial engines. Previously, NACA cowlings of various designs had been used on military aircraft, but had not been applied to civil aircraft of those years. Construction of the first prototype was completed in the summer of 1929. Testing was conducted by Clarence Clark. Based on the test results, he deemed the aircraft sufficiently perfected for participation in the national air races, held in Cleveland from August 24th to September 2nd. Doug Davis was chosen as the pilot for the Travel Air Model R in the races. A Georgia native, he had significant experience participating in air shows and competitions in the southwestern United States, piloting Travel Air biplanes. Davis highly praised the new aircraft. On the final day of the national air races, during the Free for All Speed Contest, a speed competition for all aircraft categories, Doug Davis, piloting the Travel Air, outpaced his competitors. Among his rivals were the best military aircraft. The victory drew attention to the new racing aircraft's effectiveness. The mystery ship's construction conformed to the technological standards of its time, but it also featured unique characteristics. The fuselage framework was welded from steel tubes and featured a trapezoidal cross-section, keystone type. The distance between the upper longerons exceeded that between the lower ones. This design aimed to minimize the cross-sectional area and reduce frontal drag. The fuselage's shape was formed by plywood auxiliary bulkheads and stringers installed on the steel truss. The skin consisted of one puck 16-inch thick mahogany plywood. The plywood was bent over a mold, which ensured a smooth fuselage surface with a minimal cross-section that accommodated the pilot. The forward section of the fuselage was covered with aluminum panels to protect the fuel tank and equipment. The wing center section formed an integral unit with the fuselage. The outer wing panels and main landing gear struts were attached to it. For added rigidity, the ends of the center wing spars were connected to the upper wing spars by two pairs of struts, and to the main landing gear struts by bracing wires. The main landing gear struts were fabricated from streamlined steel tubes. Bendix wheels measured 24 by 4 inches, 610 by 102 millimeters. The struts were equipped with springs and oil shock absorbers to cushion ground movement. The impenage framework consisted of welded tubes and was bolted to the fuselage. The stabilizer's angle of incidence was adjustable in flight. The control surfaces were fabric covered. The all wooden outer wing panels utilized an RAF 34 airfoil section. The distance between the wing spars was 79 centimeters and the spacing of the plywood ribs was 31 centimeters. Both the outer wing panels and the fuselage were skinned with mahogany plywood. Additional rigidity was provided by internal bracing systems. The outer wing panels attached to the center wing at the spars and were further secured to the main landing gear struts and the fuselage by a system of streamlined bracing wires. 
the standard power plant was a 9-cylinder Wright R975 radial engine. At 2300 revolutions per minute, it developed 400 horsepower. The fuel system consisted of a single 177-liter, 47 U.S. gallon aluminum tank. The tank was located in the fuselage behind the firewall near the center of gravity, so fuel consumption did not significantly affect the aircraft's balance. The oil tank was situated between the engine and the firewall. Oil cooling was achieved through a surface-type wing radiator consisting of copper tubes near the left outboard end of the center wing. The aircraft's empty weight was 670 kilograms, or 277 pounds, and its gross weight was 880 kilograms, 140 pounds. Its maximum speed at sea level reached 380 kilometers per hour, 236 miles per hour. Two Model R aircraft participated in the 1929 National Air Races. The first, bearing the registration number R6 Howen 4 uk was equipped with the standard engine, while the second featured a six-cylinder inline Chevrolet engine. The construction of both aircraft was identical, with the exception of the nose section. Aircraft R6 Howen Dimmerstun k piloted by Doug Davis, won the race achieving an average speed of 315 kilometers per hour, 196 miles per hour. Second place went to the Curtis Hawk P-3A fighter, flown by Lieutenant R.J. Breen, with an average speed of 302 kilometers per hour, 188 miles per hour, 13 kilometers per hour, 8 miles per hour, slower than the winner. Davis received a prize of $750 and a silver cup from the Thompson Products Company. This victory impressed company representative Fred Crawford, who decided to organize the Thompson Trophy Air Race. Aircraft R614K was the first in the series and popularized the name Mystery Ship. It was painted red with black stripes and green trim. The civil registration number was painted in black, while the racing number 31 was white. Throughout late 1929 and all of 1930, this aircraft participated in numerous competitions. Clarence Clark joined the Curtis Wright Company's team of pilots and sometimes stunt pilot Dale Red Jackson. Gulf Oil Company served as the sponsor. In late 1930, R614K participated in demonstration flights during a fair. After the flights, Lieutenant Leroy McGrady joined the company to participate in further flights. During landing, R614K's wheels bogged down in soft ground. The aircraft nosed over and flipped onto its back. The empennage, landing gear, right outer wing panel, and nose were damaged. The engine was removed and the airframe was transferred to Travel Air, which by then had become part of the Curtis Wright Corporation. In early 1931, Walter Hunter purchased this aircraft. He discovered significant damage to the wing center section, the right outer wing, and the fuselage. The airframe was delivered to Parks Air College for repairs. The wing was repaired by Universal Airlines, a right G69 engine was then installed on the aircraft. The plane was repainted orange following the same scheme. Hunter ferried it to Teterboro, New Jersey, where the Wright Company produced its first production Type E whirlwind engines. During one of the test flights preceding the 1931 National Air Races, a fuel line was damaged. Gasoline began to accumulate in the lower fuselage. Hot gases from the short exhaust pipe leaked through the firewall. The moment the engine stopped due to fuel starvation, a fire erupted. Hunter was flying at a low altitude. He bailed out from 55 meters, his parachute deployed at 15 meters. The aircraft went into a dive, impacted the ground, and was completely destroyed. Speed measurements with the new engine could not be completed. Concurrently with the first Model R aircraft, R6 Humber 4UK, a second example was built, receiving the registration number R613K. The main distinction of this machine was its power plant. Instead of a right radial engine, the aircraft was fitted with an air-cooled inline six-cylinder Chevrolet engine. This engine was developed by the Arthur Chevrolet Aviation Motor Corporation of Indianapolis, Indiana. The Aero engine had a displacement of approximately eight liters and was designated Model D6 during testing. At 2,175 revolutions per minute, it developed 165 horsepower. The engine was well suited to the airframe, which was considered one of the most aerodynamically advanced of its generation. In 1929, aircraft R6 Fun 3K participated in the experimental aircraft competition as part of the national air races. 
Piloted by Doug Davis, the machine took first place, reaching a speed of 183.2 kilometers per hour. Later, pilot Clarence Clark competed in an eight-liter engine class race and finished third, behind two monocoupe aircraft powered by Walter engines. The preparation of R6-1-3K for the races was done in great haste, which affected its appearance. The aircraft received a simplified paint scheme. A yellow base and red stripes were applied with a spray gun without nozzles, resulting in the colors lacking clear separation. The race number 32 was painted in white. After the 1929 races concluded, the Chevrolet engine was removed and returned to its manufacturer. A Wright J67 Aero engine was then installed on the aircraft. In this configuration, painted yellow and red, the aircraft was sold through a California dealer to pilot Florence Lowe Poncho Barnes. The new owner changed the power plant again, installing a radial aero engine manufactured by the Wright Company. The engine was equipped with a short cowling or a townend ring, which was often removed. Florence Barnes repainted R61-3K in red and black, following the scheme of the first aircraft, r 61 k under her command, the aircraft participated in cross-country flights and various competitions across the United States. For long-distance races, additional fuel tanks were installed on the aircraft, two in the wing center section and two in the outer panels. The capacity of these tanks is not specified in the source. Florence Barnes later leased her aircraft to Howard Hughes. He used the machine for training prior to designing and constructing his own record-setting aircraft. Following the completion of the lease, R613K was stored in the hangar of Mance Air Service in California. As Florence Barnes was unable to repay the debt guaranteed by Paul Mance, she transferred ownership of the Model R aircraft to him. Following the change of ownership, the aircraft was repainted in Mance's colors, red with white stripes. For a film shoot, the aircraft was converted into a static, non-flying replica of a Schneider Trophy racer. It remained in this state until the liquidation of Paul Mance's and Frank Tallman's collection of vintage aircraft. R613K was then purchased by Florence Pancho Barnes and her son, Bill. Bill Barnes, who owned an aircraft maintenance facility in Lancaster, began restoring the aircraft but was unable to complete the work. He died in a P-51 crash in 1980. Florence Barnes had passed away five years prior to her son's fatal accident. The success of the Model R aircraft attracted the attention of oil companies seeking high-speed machines for their aviation divisions. In 1930, Shell Oil Company ordered a Model R aircraft for promotional purposes. The third example, bearing civil registration number NR482N, was delivered in April 1930. It was painted in the company's colors, yellow with red stripes. Pilot Jimmy Hazlip won an aerobatic cup with it during a tour of the New England states. Later that year, at the Illinois Air Races in Glenview, NR482N, piloted by Hayslip, secured first place with an average speed of 293 kilometers per hour, beasting Charles Speed Holman in the brand new Laird Solution. A significant event was the inaugural Thompson Trophy race in 1930. Participants included the Shell and Texas Model R aircraft, along with a modified military Curtis, XF-6C-6 Hawk piloted by United States Marine Corps Captain Arthur H. Page. The military biplane had undergone substantial modifications. Its lower wing was removed, the upper wing was repositioned, its aerodynamics were improved, and a 700-horsepower Curtis Conqueror engine was installed. Page led until the 17th lap, when structural failure of the aircraft likely began, leading to the plane's crash and the pilot's fatality. Charles Holman emerged as the winner with an average speed of 326.2 kilometers per hour, followed by Jimmy Hazlip in NR482N, who achieved an average speed of 323 kilometers per hour. These marked the final closed course races of 1930 for the Travel Air Model R aircraft. In 1931, Jimmy Hazlip and Jimmy Doolittle conducted demonstration flights in NR482N throughout the United States. Around this time, a cockpit canopy, similar to the one used on the Texaco Company's aircraft, was added to the airframe. In 1932, at the initiative of Jimmy Doolittle, the aircraft was delivered to Parks Air College for a major modernization. A 550-horsepower Pratt & Whitney R985 engine was installed. The larger diameter of the engine necessitated a redesign of the fuselage, whose cross-section became more elliptical. 
The cockpit was fitted with a new canopy featuring a windshield behind which a dorsal fairing extending to the empennage tail section was installed. The aircraft was repainted yellow and red, bearing the number 400. The aileron control system was also modified. As a result, the lateral control system lost its required rigidity, leading to aileron flutter and the in-flight structural failure of the aircraft during testing in St. Louis. Jimmy Doolittle managed to parachute to safety, but the aircraft was completely destroyed. Another Model R aircraft, NR-13, was ordered by the Texas company for pilot Frank Hawks and delivered in July 1930. Structurally, it was identical to other aircraft in the series, but featured an enlarged vertical stabilizer, an enclosed cockpit canopy, and an increased fuel capacity, 380 liters instead of the standard 177.7 liters. Its power plant consisted of a Wright R975 engine producing 425 horsepower. The aircraft's weight increased to 1 242 kilograms, compared to 880 kilograms for the first Model R. Yet the structure was not reinforced, which reduced its load factor. Two sets of wing panels were manufactured for the aircraft. Standard ones, a 6.45 meter span, 13 square meters area for racing, and long ones, a 9.75 meter span, 15 square meters area for long distance flights. To compensate for the drag of the longer wings, a small fairing was installed on the leading edge of the center wing section. The Texaco aircraft had two paint schemes. Initially, the fuselage was ochre with red stripes and green trim. After Hawks' landing accident, which severely damaged the aircraft and required repairs at the Travel Air Factory, the paint scheme was changed. The plane became white and red with green dividing stripes, and the inscription Texaco 13 was applied to its side. The aircraft participated in the 1930 Thompson Trophy races, but withdrew on the seventh lap due to engine problems. Later, Hawks used NR-1313 for record-setting flights, including transcontinental journeys and a European tour. In France, Texaco 13 broke several European records. In July 1932, during a landing in Worcester, Massachusetts, the aircraft collided with a metal barrier and sustained severe damage. Hawks suffered severe injuries and ceased flying this particular aircraft. In 1938, the aircraft was restored to its original condition and donated to the Chicago Museum of Science. The fifth and final travel air model R aircraft was built for the Italian government. It duplicated Texaco 13 in design and even in its white and red paint scheme. Its vertical stabilizer was painted with three stripes, red, white, and green. The aircraft did not carry American registration numbers and information regarding its Italian registration is unavailable. The Travel Air Model R aircraft had a significant impact on aviation development, proving that civilian racing machines could be faster than military fighters. The Model R outclassed contemporary combat aircraft the project's most significant contribution was the rapid adoption of the latest National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics Advancements, particularly engine cowlings. Military departments in the United States and Europe were slow to transition away from biplanes. For instance, the American Boeing P-26A fighter used a town-end ring, and large-cord cowlings only appeared on Seversky P-35 fighters seven years after the mystery ship's creation. In 1975, there were three projects to create a replica of the mystery ship. One of these involved Herb Rodden, one of the original creators. After his death, the project was acquired by Jim Yunkin of Springdale, Arkansas. The replica's construction was completed in 1979. Outwardly, the aircraft resembled the original, but it had technical differences. The Lycoming R680-13 engine, cowling, and engine mount were sourced from a Beach AT-10 Wichita aircraft. The tubular fuselage was designed to increase cockpit space. The instrument panel was more modern and an autopilot was installed. Fuel storage was moved to the wing panels for safety reasons. The wheels and brakes were borrowed from a Fairchild PT-19. The paint scheme matched R614K, with the exception of the missing green trim. The replica received the registration number N482N, the same as the Shell Oil Company aircraft in 1930. The aircraft was exhibited at the Experimental Aircraft Association Museum in Hales Corners, Wisconsin. This concludes our story about the Travel Air Model R. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed learning about these legendary aircraft.